Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Mission Friends. I hope you're all doing well. All right, we ready? Get your brothers and sisters, your mamas and daddies. You know the song, so let's sing. Ready? I like you, there's no doubt about it. I like you, there's no doubt about it. I like you, there's no doubt about it. You are my good friend. You like me, there's no doubt about it. You like me, there's no doubt about it. You like me, there's no doubt about it. You are my good friends. Uh -huh. Very good. Boys and girls, who made you? God made me. What else did God make? God made all things. Why did God make you in all things? For his own glory. How can you glorify God? By loving him and doing what he commands. And are there more gods than one? There is only one God. Very good. I am proud of you. All right. Are you ready to do some traveling this morning? Here we go. Tell me, where do you live? Alabama. That's exactly right. All right. Chick, 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 are we gonna talk about Mr. Jamie in Chicago? No. Ready? Tick 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 little more a little more tick 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 stop. Are we gonna talk about Mr. Ken in Australia? No. Ready? Tick 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 I hope you're helping me. Tick 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 stop. Are we going to talk about Mr. John in Kentucky? No. Ready? A little ways. Tick, 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 stop. Are we going to talk about Mr. George in Louisiana? No. Ready? Tick, 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 stop. Are we going to talk about Mr. Bird in Miramar? No. Little ways. Chick, 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 stop. Are we going to talk about Mr. Jerry in Cambodia? No. Ready? Uh, I'm sorry, that was Uganda? No, not Uganda. Now let's go to Cambodia. Chick, 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 stop. Are we going to talk about Mr. William in, Cam in Cambodia? No. You are so right. Miss Kathy got confused. Stop. Are we going to talk about Mr. Mike in Idaho? No. Ready? We're going to come back this way, okay? Stop. Are we going to talk about Mr. Don in the Middle East? No. That's a lot of places, but none of those. The month of May. Remember, we're talking about the ladies who live all around the world in different places and they're learning to make different items so they can sell those things and earn money to buy things for their family. And that's what we've been studying the month of May. Now, those things that they're making, World Crafts is the group that's helping them to teach them how to make things like purses and jewelry and clothes and dishes and blankets and Christmas ornaments and lots of other things besides those. And those things, remember, they sell them and they can earn money to help their family. Hmm, I wonder what they buy. Well, let's look right here. They will take the money that they earn and they'll buy things that their family needs. Things like shelter. Maybe they live in a tent, like the uh, refugees that we learned about in the Middle East. They may even live in a trailer. They may have a small house, or they may live in an apartment in a big building, but that money helps to pay for those things. The money also helps to buy clothing for the children and also for the mommies and daddies and the grandparents, maybe. Also, it pays for water. You mean the 
children around the world drink water like we do? Sure do. And of course, food. They have to have money to buy food to eat. But there's something even more important than all those things. World Craft tells the ladies that are working, teaches the ladies all about the Bible, the Word of God. They teach the ladies about Jesus' love for them. They teach them Bible verses. Uh, they read the Bible to them. That's a good thing. That's even more important than the money that they earn. So it's a good thing that World Crafts is doing. Now let's look at our pictures. You've seen two of them, but I've got a new one for you today too. All right, you remember Miss Maria? Maria lives in India. And remember, she's the one that uh, makes blankets, small rugs and those kind of things. And we, I bet you anything when she earns that money, maybe she buys shoes for herself shoes for her children, and uh, lots of other things. And you know, Miss Maria, she looks mighty happy sewing those blankets. Also, last week we learned about Miss Esther. Remember, she lives in Haiti, and she makes jewelry. She also makes purses, but she really can make this gorgeous jewelry. And she's the one that's teaching all of these younger children, younger girls, how to make the jewelry so they can grow older, uh, become a little older and learn how to make the jewelry and sell it to earn money too. Now, you remember the story I told you that uh, Miss Esther, with the money that she earned, they were able to add on another room to their house. They were able to buy a dish, uh, washing machine, a freezer. They got running water in their house and a shower. Woo! They got a lot of things. She works real hard, but you can tell that by all the jewelry that's laying on that table there. Well, today I want you to meet Miss Eden. Say Miss Eden. Miss Eden. And she lives in Asia and she makes dishes and vases. Look at all the vases back here and dishes. And this is her uh, good friend. We don't know her name, but uh, the two of them work together and I bet they can earn a lot of money from all these dishes that they make. So we've got dishes that they make and jewelry that they make and blankets that they make. And we don't know these two ladies' names, but uh, they do live in Cambodia and they are making jewelry that looks like the jewelry that Miss um, Esther makes, but it's in a different part of the world. Um, but this is gorgeous necklaces and looks like blankets or mats or something over here too. But they're putting those beads on one by one by one. So it must take a long time to get that necklace put together. Oh, they work so hard. All right, but now let me show you some of the crafts. I'll show you the ones that we've looked at before and then I've got something new to show you. The bracelet that we saw that came from Uganda. Say Uganda. Uganda. That's a fun word to say. And the necklace. And this looks very similar to what Miss Marie and Miss Esther make. And then we've got uh, the bracelet that was made in um, Uganda too. I believe it was. And this notepad cover that came from Guatemala. Remember, you can put your paper in the inside. Beautifully made. Beautiful colors. And then last week we saw this bracelet that was made in uh, Haiti. And last week I showed you some pieces of fabric that uh, the people in Haiti, they can put together to make a mat, kind of like this on the table here. This is just pinned together right now. And then they can take and either sew it with a machine or else sew it by hand, and then they can lay it on their table. It will probably be bigger than this one though. And then I want you to look at this bowl. Is this not gorgeous? And I think maybe this one was also made in Haiti because every bead is being put on by hand. All these little tiny beads. There's thousands of beads on here. So these ladies that work around the world, they can make some good stuff. 
It takes them a long time to make these things. All right, let us look at our Bible verses. Now remember, get your brothers and sisters to help you because you know these by now. Are you ready? Tell people about Jesus. Can you say that? Tell people about Jesus. Ready? Say, thank you to God, Psalm 136.1. Say, thank you to God, Psalm 136.1. Pray for one another, James 5.16. Pray for one another, James 5.16. Love one another, John 15, 17. Love one another. John 15, 17. John Red. 15, 17. That's okay. Sometimes we forget. Ready? God made me. Psalm 139, 14. God made me. Psalm 139, 14. Help one another. Galatians 5, 13. Help one another. Galatians 5, 13. I like to go to church. Psalm 122, 11. I like to go to church. Psalm 122, 11. Jesus had friends. Luke 2, 52. Jesus had friends. Luke 2, 52. And the one for the month of May. Are you ready? Be kind to each other. Ephesians 4, 32. Be kind to each other. Ephesians 4, 32. And I want you to find some time today that you can be kind to somebody. Can you do that? Yes. I bet you can. You'll probably find more than one way to be kind to somebody. I'm proud of y'all. All right, here we go. You don't know which word I'm going to pick up first, but you, I bet you know it. This word is? Love. Love. You're exactly right. This word is? Bible. Bible. You're exactly right. That's what World Crafts uh, shares with the ladies around the world. And this word is? Jesus. And that's what World Craft, that's who World Craft uh, teaches the ladies about. Oh, I'm so proud of you. All right. Now, you know that we've been reading in this book, I Can Pray, and we've learned so far six different places or times that you can pray. We've talked about Praying when you're happy, praying when you're mad, praying when you're hurt. And last week we had, you can pray when you're outside, when you're inside, and of course you can pray when you're at church. Let's look at three other times or places that you can pray. This one says, I can pray in the park. When you're at the park, you can pray? Yep, you can. Abby ran to the swings. She climbed onto the shortest one. Push me, Grandpa, she said. Grandpa pushed her higher and higher. She saw Grandma waving at her. Whee, squealed Abby. I love swings. Thank you, God, for swings. And thank you, too, for my Grandma and Grandpa. So you can pray at the park. You can pray when you eat, and I know that y'all do this before you eat, probably. Abby sat on a blanket in the sun. She was enjoying a picnic lunch. Abby bit into a slice of cantaloupe. Yummy, this tastes sweet. It is so good, she said as she smiled at her mom and dad. Thank you, God, for good food. Thank you for the sweet cantaloupe. How many of you like cantaloupe? I do too. That one looks good too. And then what about I can pray in bed for sure. Abby snuggles under her blankets. She tucked her doll beside her. Mommy smoothed the covers and kissed her goodnight. Dear God, said Mommy, we praise you for loving us. Thank you for keeping us safe and warm. Thank you for Abby. Abby smiled. Dear God, she said, thank you for my mommy and daddy, and thank you for my doll, too. Amen. Oh, so we've learned three other times we can pray. We can pray at the park, we can pray when we eat, and we can pray in bed. And right now, we're going to pray right here. Are you ready? Let's fold our hands and say this after Miss Kathy. 
Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. Please help the women. Please help the women. Around the world. Around the world. Make beautiful things to sell. Make beautiful things to sell. So they can make money. So they can make money. To buy things. To buy things. For their families. For their families. Amen. Amen. Good job. I hope you remember to pray for the ladies around the world uh, tonight when you're saying your prayers. Okay? That they'll be safe and that they can make lots of things to sell. All right, we're going to do the activity movement that we did last week. Are you ready? You made my fingers to tap. You made my fingers to tap. You made my hands to clap. You made my hands to clap. You made my body to sway. You made my body to sway. You made my voice to pray. You made my voice to pray. And I thank you, God. And I thank you, God. That I am wonderfully made. That I am wonderfully made. See you next time. Have a good day and be kind to someone. Bye-bye. <laughs>